Recording drums is a very interesting art form because everybody does it differently, which is great. But what I like to do generally is that I like to capture my drums with the overheads and I have the, the close mics as punch and clarity. And I know that a lot of people do it the opposite way around. They treat the close mics as the main mics and the overheads as an extra thing to capture the cymbals mainly. But to me, it's the opposite. I like to capture the whole kit in the overheads. The way I do it is that I have two different pairs of overheads usually. And one mono pair, which might sound odd, but there's one uh, mono overhead on top of the drums and one uh, front head in front of the drums, closer to the floor. And the mono overhead I put in the in what I call the golden region of drums around the drummer's head. Because if you ever try to, to play drums, you know that the drums usually sound the best when you're sitting in back behind the drums. So I tend to put a, a mic there, a bit higher up, uh, facing the snare and a little bit off axis. And the front head picks up the, the front kick, bottom toms and side snare and, and it gives you a warmer sound. And then I mix them together. And it's really important that both mics are in the exact same distance to the snare. You know, the overhead and the front head giving you a perfect face relationship. I also use a stereo overhead pair, normally a pair of Neumann KM84s or something like that. And I either use them as a X and Y pair or a space pair. And an X and Y pair gives you a, a more tight, focused and centered uh, stereo image. And a space pair is of course better for a wider sound, so it depends on on the song and what you're going for. And something I always do when I record drums in really good studios is that I print one version of each overhead through a compressor in a parallel way. So I send all the microphones into uh, compressors and then I record them along with the clean version as well. And uh, I really believe that one should always try to go for, for a sound right away and never leave anything for the mix. So it's much better to get the vibe and the sound right from the recording. Uh, and I tend to record a lot of parallel treatments as a recording engineer that I can use later on for mixing. And I love how compression gives overheads a bit more richness when used in this way. And I always look for some sort of saturation or crazy distortion to use when I'm recording drums, and just to have that as a flavor when I'm mixing. And we found a really cool solution using one of the microphones that sits on top of the uh, musician's headphone mixer, and that naturally has a really crazy distorted and compressed sound. So we recorded that throughout the whole session. And by the way, I'm arranging a workshop at Sonic Ranch Studios in Texas in February 2025. So if you're interested, there's a link below where you can read more about it. But it's going to be a three-day recording and mixing workshop exclusively for 10 people. And for three days, we're going to be recording and mixing. And it's also a beautiful experience because you get your own bedroom and you're going to be waking up on a beautiful farm every morning and having breakfast with everybody else. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a great event, good for networking and for learning. And So if you're interested, click on the link below. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.